This is a quick video to show you about um, animation rendering okay, and what sort of settings you need for your um, rendering. Okay, I'm on the rendering tab over here and I've got the little uh, camera um, uh, clicked and that's got all my rendering settings and here's my scene. So if I just show you, so I'm scrubbing across the timeline and that's all it is. It's just going uh, close into these two balls. Okay, um, so the first thing you do when you render um, an animation is make sure that you uh, do a little test um, where it's really low quality because it does take a while to render any complex scene. So I'll bring this right down to uh, 20%, still be able to see what's going on, and uh, that's my dimensions. So I'll bring it down to 20%. You should have your resolution set up to 1920 by 1080 if you want to use it um, on maybe YouTube as HD footage. So that's HD sizes. And the start frame and end frame are here. So uh, mine starts at um, 1 and ends at 50. Uh, after 50, the frame is the same. So if I en uh, rendered uh, frame 51 as well, let's say, um, then I could just repeat that frame 51 um, in my uh, program, what it, whatever it might be, Premiere or Final Cut or whatever you're using. So I only need to render um, 51 frames. So my end frame is going to be 51. Okay, because after that, it's going to be still. Okay, like that. Okay, uh, so my end frame is 51. And uh, down here are the next settings that are important. This is where it's outputting your file to. At the moment, it's just a temporary folder. If you go in here, let's just put it on your desktop. And I'll put it on my desktop and call it uh, Test Animation. And press Accept. Okay, so it's going to Desktop, Test Animation. Okay, and in here, uh, the best option would be H.264. Uh, that's what YouTube uses, and it's good quality. So H.264, and um, down here are the sampling. Okay, this is um, important because your test should just be about 10 samples, so it's really small and uh, really quick. So if I just render one frame of this, you can see it renders it nice and fast. Yeah, so it took uh, was it two seconds or something. Uh, so I know the animation is going to be nice and quick to test and make sure that everything's fine. Then I can go for my higher quality. When you go for the higher quality, you want to pull this up uh, to 100%. And this I would recommend around uh, 300 uh, for a good quality image. But it really does depend a lot on your lighting. And obviously I'm using Cycles Render, but uh, let's just quickly check um, how long that's going to take. You see that's taking quite a while, so every frame is going to take... Uh, well, let's say 10 seconds or something, and I seem to have killed it just there by using my screen recorder. Um, okay, so uh, those are the settings. Make sure you've got uh, the image size right. Um, when you do your test, bring down the uh, size of that image, and then bring it up when you complete. Start and end frames, and uh, set where you want it to go, your output, and make sure it's on H.264. Okay, hope that helped.